Hi, welcome to Bonnie Roseman's Fashion Buzz. And today is the beginning of June and my schedule has changed. I'm only going to do these segments on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then, of course, I'll always post it on YouTube under my own channel, which you can subscribe to called Bonnie Roseman's Fashion Buzz. And I always mention my golden rules to dress by, which are BLT, B, build your wardrobe with classic pieces, L, liven your wardrobe with fun novelty items, and T, tweak your wardrobe with touches of color. And all throughout my 44 shows, today is my 45th show, I've shown how to put outfits together, and show different color schemes. And then I started getting into categories and I've been getting requests. And last week I did a show just on pearl jewelry. But today I decided I was, I would have been requested to show other types of necklaces other than pearls. Cause that show was all dedicated to pearls of all sorts. And so I think that whether you're wearing <clears throat> a pair of blue jeans and a t-shirt or you're going out black tie eventually and wearing a long gown or just a simple black top and black slacks that necklaces seem to be a really favorite accessory so I'm not going to focus on earrings today I'm wearing a pair of earrings that's got gold silver and copper on it just to kind of keep them in the background but today the focus is on necklaces and the first thing I want to share are silver necklaces so I'm wearing a little silver top just to give it a little bit of a interest and this is an artist out of Italy who does these for me and they're all crocheted and then I have these amazing turquoise and silver beads and they're with magnets so you can actually wear it so if you want to show off the silver on one side and have a little bit of turquoise, there's your little touch of color. Or you can move it around and have the turquoise on the bottom and show the silver woven crocheted beads on top. This is magnetic snaps. They're, they're really some of the most interesting necklaces I have. And so here's just one necklace. If you want to wear them staggered, they look great worn like that and I just think they're so fun and then I have other ones I mean people just go crazy for these so here's another one that could be worn so you can even have three different ones and this one has a little black mixed in with the silver beads this one's basically all silver and this one is turquoise and silver look at how beautiful they look but they all come off just like this because they're all magnetic snaps and I wanted to show for an example this has got black and silver and this is black with silver these are all hand woven it's really one of the highlights of my line in the way of necklaces and look at how beautiful this is so you can wear this down like this and have it here again you can do it where they're halfway it's so interesting that you can be creative in the way you wear things or you can go like that. And then again, if you just want to wear one, there you go. Even the snap is pretty in silver. Or you can put it in the back. Look at how beautiful that is. Or again, stagger it and wear it with another. So that's the story with these. Let's see who we got today. Hi, Harriet. You've got to call me. You've got your $200 gift, $200 gift certificate coming towards you. Anything you want. Hi, Hi, Lillian, you were wonderful yesterday. Hi, Glow. Angela, looking forward to seeing you. I have to get clear on your schedule. I think you're only doing Wednesdays at 8 o'clock. It's entertainment trivia once a week. I'm down to two times a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Hi, Tracy from Nantucket, and hi, Michael from Philadelphia. Okay, so now this is a vintage piece by David Navarro. 
It really is a museum piece. This is something you would see at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in the costume division. He passed away quite a while ago. And it's just a magnificent piece with ivory as all hand carved as the clasp, crystal and silver, all hand wrought. And that's a spectacular piece. So I love that. Hi, Saison from Finland. Great to have you. Hi, Kathy from Connecticut and Jean from uh, New Jersey. Can't wait to see you, Nantucket. Hi, Tom from Palm Beach. And then this is from London. And I call this my slinky necklace because you can wear it just like this, but it changes depending on the direction you hold it. It goes from gold, I don't know if you can kind of see it over here, to silver. Just depends on which way you play with this little slinky necklace. And you can wear it double. You can play with it. You can have it kind of as a choker and down like this. You can end up wearing it like that. And they're just amazing pieces. But I think an accessory like a fabulous necklace can just be a treasure for the rest of your life. And I've been collecting them for over 30 something years. So this has got little antique silver chains in the shape of, I'm trying to show you, little handbags, boots, and shoes. It's the cutest thing. All different handbags, all different shoes. There's a little high heeled shoe. So for people that like charm necklaces, this is onyx and sterling with really cute shoes and handbag charms. And you probably could add your own personal charms to it. It could just become your charm necklace. But this is how I got it. And I thought it was a great piece. Hi, Steve from Colorado. I mean, from uh, Arizona. I don't know why. I knew you were out west. But you're in Phoenix. And we miss you. Okay. And then this is a silver, all silver thread done with felting. And I mean, these again are museum pieces. Look at this, how this just sets off an outfit. I just love that. Isn't that beautiful? So unique. And you can make it shorter if you want, wear it a little bit more like a choker. But what a conversation piece if you're wearing even a pair of black jeans and a black t-shirt. Or you could go again and wear it with a gown. I mean, it's just so special and so different. And then I want you to see this. This is made with all crystal and sterling. Beautiful chain. And that's a great piece. Look at that. So I'm really focusing right now on the silver pieces. And last but not least in my little silver category, this is Labradite with um, beautiful snake sterling chain. And I love these because you can wear it as a lariat with the knot high up on the neck and have it kind of down like this, or you can end up wearing it double and then just snake it through because it's a snake chain and kind of wear it like that. So almost every piece I have is very versatile. And now I'm gonna go off camera Let's see. Hi, Linda Marks. I haven't seen you in a long time. Sending you lots of love from West Palm Beach. Stay safe. And for Deborah Berman Silver, so glad you're feeling better. I prayed for you every day, and I'm so glad to see you watching. So now I'm going to switch to gold, and I'm going to show you some really great gold pieces because not everybody's into silver. I decided I wanted to show gold. And here I am with a little gold top. So, okay, I have to fix my hair. These quick changes have kept me in shape. So now I want to start with the gold necklaces. And again, these are all hand crocheted gold beads. So here's a simple gold choker. But then I have one that's just gorgeous in black onyx beads, all faceted cut with gold. And you could wear it staggered with that. And look at how that looks. With, a, again, a pair of black jeans and boots or with a beautiful black cocktail dress, whatever you want. But I wanted to kind of show it off 
with my gold top. And then here's another one that's in all gold beads with black onyx. I mean, they're just gorgeous. And this one, so you can wear them triple like this. I mean, that's just a stunning look. But the beauty of it, again, is that if you want to change it up and you buy these necklaces from me, you can end up mixing them together. And they really make for quite a statement. If you end up putting them, they just attach at the, at the magnet like this. And then you can wear it long like this or wear it again where it's half and half, very textural. You could just change it around or you could double it. Just wear it like this. So they're really cool. Okay, so we're gonna go on to the next thing. So fun, I have so much to show you. Okay, now here's a totally different piece. This is an Israeli artist. And these are all acrylic charms. It's as light as a feather and she likes using recyclable pieces. And this is rubber. And then it's got a little gold on each end. And look at that. What a cool piece. I mean, necklaces can just change your whole outfit and change your whole mood. And this is the pop pieces that really take something simple. I don't care where you get your top or your pants, but you take a necklace that's unique and it brings it up about 10 notches. Isn't that right, Beth? Good to see you. It's all on fun necklaces. Okay, this one is gold and silver mixed. And I just flipped for that with a little bit of pewter. So it's gold, silver, and pewter. Isn't that gorgeous? Totally different. I love showing all these different kinds of styles. And then I have something like this. I'm known for my letters. I've got A through Z. I'm showing you because I know it's hard. It's all backwards on screen, but I've got every letter A through Z. I think here I have an L, a G, they come in gold, they come in silver. I was gonna spell out the word love and I ended up getting distracted and just threw some letters on here, but it's an E, an O, an L. And then I have these beautiful hand braided chains that go from 18 inch to 36 inch. I have all different lengths and people buy them as charm necklaces, but they buy it and have the initials of their kids or their initials or XOXO or whatever you want to spell. SEX, could be anything you want. So you can have fun with these. I, I have those in every letter and I have large ones too, but today I just was featuring this. But those are custom done, and I have quite a few in stock. This is hand, this is beautiful freshwater pearl. It's one of the few pieces I'm showing with pearls today because I forgot to show it the other day, but it's got beautiful hand blown glass with it. And then this gold chain. And again, you can wear it short like that. Isn't that pretty? Look at that, it's so simple. These pieces of beautiful glass, hand-blown glass, and like triangular shapes with the pearls, so pretty. And then the chain is lovely, and then of course you can wear it long. So there's uh, there's such a variety. It doesn't have to be, you can adjust this, so this can be worn any length. I like it right about there, right in between, okay. And then I have this great piece here that's all opaline pineapple cut and it's got this great dangles really pretty piece really looks like opal but they call it opaline and again you can adjust it so it can be any length you want but i thought that was stunning and then i like to double things so again you can just go like this and put the dangles right through it like that and this actually clasps on. There's a clasp, so clasps on like that. Okay, so you've seen that. I all throughout my shows told you that I collect pins. 
Look at this pin. I get them in Paris, in the Marais section. I've gotten them in Germany. I lived in Munich for a year. I've collected these pins. They have been now turned into necklaces. So this just hooks on wherever you want it. The beads are actually agate that have been dyed in this gorgeous cranberry shade. And then we've got some jade, hand carved jade at the bottom. And then there's the pin. And this just hooks on where you want it, but this is basically what it looks like. I thought that was stunning. I love taking pins and making them into necklaces. And I have some talented people. This is a piece of scrimshaw. And I'm heading up to Nantucket. This would be a winner there. It's a beautiful ship, a mast, old-fashioned sailing vessel. And it looks like a whaling ship. And then this is all agate. And it was, it was done on top of, like, it looks to me some type of shell, seashell. And I thought that was a very attractive-looking piece. This again is labradite, turquoise, and crystal. And there's another old fashioned pin that I found through one of my little jaunts to the antique stores and had it made into a necklace. And I think it looks great on gold with, you know, it has a little bit of gold and a little bit of silver. So it's a mixture of metals. So you could really go either direction. But again, even with the t-shirt, this stuff is amazing. And I've got this great piece that was an owl pin. Look at this. A lot of people love to collect owls. And here it is with freshwater pearls. Turn it right side up. Okay, there you go. Isn't that a beauty? And these, these are all, I think this is like an agate or a crystal of some sort. But, and, and it does have the Baroque pearls. But I just fell in love with this pin and we made it into a, see they're all pins, antique pins made into necklaces. So I wanted to feature that. And here's another one that says love, laugh, and life done with silver. So these are old pins turned into necklaces. So I wanted to share those. Now I'm going off screen again this will be my last change of the day, and I'm putting on a copper top because we're going to start showing some things in the copper tones and also things that are a little bit more earthy. I have to fix up my hair again. It's a good thing I have short hair. Okay, so I've got on my copper top, and this is going to drive you crazy. I found this at an antique store. It's a piece of Bakelite in the shape of an old man's shoe, like an old fashioned shoe. It even has little shoelace and it's on wooden beads and you wear it as a lariat. I just thought it was the most adorable idea. So you can take the wooden beads and wear this like this. And I just thought, oh, these are so unique. And I'd wear this with a pair of jeans and t-shirt just fun. Hi, Sandra. So glad you're here today. And now we're getting into some more serious things in the earth tones. These are all magnificent agate, carnelian, jade, all done. Beautiful antique coins. And it's a great piece. This is done by an artist out of San Francisco I work with. And every piece is painstakingly done and knotted in between every bead and she collects these things from all over the world and I love how that looks so that that's just a beautiful piece and you can wear it double or you can wear it long and again you can adjust it but that's that's a beautiful beautiful piece and in the earth tones a lot of people love things in a little more subtle palette now this is a magnificent work of art it's done in the shape of a bib with coral, hand-blown glass, copper, mother of pearl, and on this beautiful ribbon, 
Look at how that looks with a copper top. And you could do it high up right on the neck. It's adjustable. That's a that's a, a museum piece in itself. Love that. Okay. Then I have this beautiful Italian glove leather with hand-blown glass and turquoise beads. And it's all braided. I thought this was clever. I've never seen anything like it. A leather necklace that you can wear like that. Again, you could wear it. This is a great piece to wear in Arizona or in New Mexico. Or, you know, it's got kind of a Western feeling to it. You could probably wear it through your jeans as a, as a, as a, as a belt. But here it is, just, you know, showing you, you can kind of see like that, but you can wear it long or short, double, but well, what a unique necklace. I love that I have things in every material. This I got in an antique store, all made with all different elements, wood, bronze, silver, horn, bone and hand crocheted cloth. I mean, it's, it's, it's all hand woven here. Just amazing. Almost feels like rope, but it's real soft. And I think that's an interesting piece. Imagine this with an ivory outfit, all ivory and just a pair of silver or gold earrings. I mean, these, these are the kinds of things that make what I do so unique and special. This is a piece by another artist that I work with and I loved. She ended up finding shells that had been rolled in the, in the shape of a bead, African beads, carnelian, and this beautiful old piece of silver with inlaid carnelian that's double-sided. Beautifully done. And I love that. And again, I could see this with jeans or a beautiful cocktail dress. It's just got that earthy kind of mud cloth feeling. Now, to end it, we're going to go for a few colorful pieces. And this one is made out of a polymer clay in the shape of a, a beautiful fish. And I just, and gorgeous hand rolled coral beads. And I just thought that was, this is a piece that when you don't wear, you want to have it out, has little eyes here. I mean, it's just beautifully done. And that you almost feel like you want to have on display when you're not wearing it. Some of these pieces are really pretty to have out on a cocktail table. Hi, Merle. Great to have you today. And Paul, wishing you well. Can't wait to get on the dance floor with you. And then this is all hand-blown glass. And there were some interesting colors on this. I just love greens and chartreuse. And I wanted to show you this, it's mixed with leather and it would be great with black and just, it, it totally adjusts. It's all leather so you can wear it long or you can wear it as a choker. But these are the kinds of things that you don't see elsewhere. And, and it's definitely like walking into a little wearable art gallery when you come to see me and virtually seeing me. Now this, I thought, was the perfect piece to end the show with. This is one of the most extraordinary. It's butterflies, all enamel, and it's done on burl wood. And there's burl wood showing through here. And this is all hand cut sterling. And it's all inlaid in sterling, but this is all enamel. And then I have literally every color cording imaginable in silk so that you can take a necklace like this, wear it on either side and use my silk cording as in any of these colors. I mean, I just couldn't possibly hold them all up one at a time. So I just grabbed them as a bunch, but I'll show you in this beautiful green that you can wear this. Look at this on my copper top. I mean, it's just extraordinary. But you tie this wherever you want it. So it can be worn as a pendant or it can be worn as a choker up here. And I think that's kind of, of, of what I wanted to share with you today. Nice to have you, Nancy. And look forward to hearing you sing again. And hi, Stephanie. Say hi to your sweet husband. Um, 
I just love doing this and I'm going to probably feature on Thursday all my earrings and then I just got in some fabulous and knit sweaters and I'll do a whole show on sweaters and I really appreciate this opportunity because what's been happening is that people are now calling me for individual appointments and FaceTiming me and I'm asking people to go to YouTube and review my shows so if they're into purples go check out my purples you're into yellows I've got yellows you're into denim I got denim you're into pearls and take notes and let me know what items you're interested in and we can work together individually this is the way that I was kind of doing it before all this happened in the world but it's even become more important for me to continue this and to give people an opportunity to really pick and choose things beautifully without being in the same room so hi rob love having you here hi al um so see you on thursday three o'clock so it's only twice a week let me know if you have any other requests i have people asking me to do a show on my art and everything else i have so many ideas and then I go up to Nantucket at the end of the month and I'll be showing from there. And I appreciate all of you. Love having an audience. Um, share me with your friends. And most important, don't forget, feel good, but look even better. Mwah. See you on Thursday at 3 for number 46. Unbelievable. Mwah.